Oh, Julia, this is absolutely beautiful here. I know it. The marsh is so pretty, and the tide's coming in right now, so the water's nice and high. Awesome. And look, they even rent canoes here. Yeah, they do. I mean, we brought our own kayaks, but you don't need a kayak or a canoe. You can rent them here. Right, right. And this has got to be one of the more exciting things we've done so far. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't wait to get out on the water. And I noticed there's a sign over there that talks about the different fish that are here and the different trees. There's a mangrove tree that you can learn a lot about. So it seems to be a kind of a nursery for a lot of young fish here in the marsh. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there's lots to learn about. Oh, great. Well, I think we need to get to it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put our life jackets on because it's all about safety when you're on the water. Absolutely. Julia, this is beautiful out here. Yes, it is. Okay, so I've noticed that I've been seeing lots of little finger creeks that come off of the river. So I'm going to float up in here and see if I can see anything. Here's another little creek finger that goes off into the marsh. And see? It's off of the big marsh area. And you can see Miss Julia out there looking for an alligator. And it's kind of fun to explore some of these little creeks because you never know what kind of wildlife you're gonna see. But do be careful because they really wind all around in the marsh and you don't want to get lost. So I am going to head back to Miss Julia. I wonder if there's anything in it. Are you going to look? Well, I want to, but I need to move my kayak. I'm bumping into it. Those traps belong to commercial fishermen. And it is illegal for you to pick them up and touch them because they don't belong to you. Oh, that's right. We talked about that earlier when we saw the trap with the white buoy on it. Yes. Look at that great egret. Oops. Miss Kelly's scooting with the tide. Wow, that's a beautiful bird there. Great egret is a big bird. Wow, look at that beautiful white bird. Let's see if he's catching any fish. 
he's been out here stalking for a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in. He sure is looking for something to eat. He has a very long neck. I think Miss Julia said he was a great egret. But we'll look it up to make sure. He's very quiet and stalking along the grasses to try and find a minnow or a crab. He's looking really hard for something to eat. He's being very still. to get a little close because the current's drifting my kayak. <gasps> he got something or he tried to get it. Here he goes. oysters. And sometimes as we're going along we scare fish that are up along the shallows looking for little fish to eat around the oysters. There's an oyster bed. Now that the tide's going down a little bit it's easy to see. There's sure a lot of oysters there. And we definitely don't want to pull our kayaks up on top of that. That would really hurt. You've got to be really careful around oysters. They're very sharp. We just saw something move in the water. Miss Julia thought it was a baby alligator. It's kind of it messed up the dirt right there under the water in the mud. It wriggled onto the into the water. Hey, look at the shells. Oh, up in the mud. Why do you think that is? Like, what are they doing here? We're not in the ocean. Well, the tide's going out. And this is salt water here in the marsh. Oh, so this connects to the ocean. Right. Oh. So even though it's called Pelissier Creek, it still can be salt water or brackish water. Yeah, and you know, I was wondering, are, would we see any frog eggs on these marsh grasses? I don't think we'll see any frog eggs in the water because frogs like frogs like to lay their eggs in still water. So the tide goes up and down here, so the water isn't really still. And the frog larvae eat the, the frog tadpoles eat oh. mosquito larvae, and you don't see anything like minnows or mosquitoes around here, larvae around here. So there's there would be nothing for the frogs to eat. Oh, because the water moves too much with current, right? Yes. And it would wash them away. Yes. Okay. Probably picking at some of those. 
Oh, he was fussing at me. Did you hear that? We'll have to see what kind he was. has really gone out. Look at how shallow it is. Look, Miss Kelly, there's the dock. Oh yeah, you know, I sure am glad we put our hats and sunscreen on. Me too, the reflection on the water made it really bright. I'm getting hungry. You ready to go in and then eat our lunch and then maybe go hike in the forest some? Ooh, that sounds like a great idea. I could also use a drink. Me too. I think I am. I had a good lunch, so I'm feeling energized and ready to do this. Yes, and I have my trail mix all tied up in my little bandana on my belt loop. That looks so great. Hands free. That's the important thing. <laughs> Sometimes I've seen those used in landscaping oh. in people's yards. Okay. Hmm. Kelly, is that the 
creek we were kayaking in this morning? It sure looks like it. Do you know the name of that creek? It's Pelissier Creek. Oh, right. That was a pretty kayak trip. It sure was. Mm -hmm. Look, Kelly, a snag with holes in it. Oh my gosh, there must be hundreds of holes in that tree. And you know what they're from? I bet they're from woodpeckers. I think so. They're not really big, there's just a lot of them. Right. Hmm. Eating all the bugs that are in that dead tree. Yeah. We'll keep our eye out. Maybe we'll get lucky and see one. That would be great. I would love to see one of those really big woodpeckers. What are they called? Pileated. Oh, wow. Kelly, look. Wow, that's beautiful. It was worth the big long hike we had. Yes, and the breeze feels so nice coming off the water. Yes, in the woods it's so protected. You don't get the nice breeze. Right. Let's sit down on the sit down on the bench I see over here and have a snack. Good idea. Cool off a little bit. Yeah, just sit down and cool off. Julia, look. It's an armadillo. It sure is. I bet it's what's been digging all the holes that we saw. I was hoping we'd see one. There's a ton of, look how it's got its head in the ground right now. Oh, he's digging for something. He's digging so much, he doesn't even pay attention to us. No, I don't think he even knows we're here. He's definitely digging for grubs and bugs. He must be hungry because he's digging an awful lot. He's got his head so far down in that hole. Let's see if we can get... You know, do you think armadillos see very well? I don't think so. But look, he's pushing his nose up a little bit like maybe he smelt us. Let's just be still and see what he does. He sees us now. Oh, he's not too scared though. He's still looking for bugs. So Julia, have you seen lots of armadillos before? No? No. Me either. He's just traveling right along. His shell or armor on his back, I guess you'd say. Do you know they're actually called the nine banded armadillo? The nine bandit? If you look, you see the bands around his belly? Oh, he's coming up to you. Oh my gosh. Just be real still. And again. He is so close to you, Julia. Just be still. Let me see if I can zoom in on the bands you were talking. Oh yeah, look at all the bands. Wow. Oh, I think he saw you. Well, then maybe we better move on because let him do 
his thing. So, Miss Kelly, they've got camping here. Oh, I love camping. It's really great. The campsites are shady. And look, they've got fire rings. Ooh, roasted marshmallows. That's one of the best things about camping is a campfire with marshmallows. Wow. So, we came over to check out the campground. And right in between the, the truck and the camper is a black snake. I think it's a black snake. Hopefully it's not a water moccasin. I think it's a black racer. You think it's a black racer, Miss Julia? I do because it's not really fat. But it's he's laying in the sun. It's not very big. No. No, it's not a moccasin. It's a black racer. So Miss Kelly and I looked these up because we didn't know if they were bat boxes or bird boxes. And we found out that these are bat boxes. So this is a man-made place where bats can roost. They're put here because bats like to be close to the water for their, um, for their shelter. Um, there's lots of mosquitoes to eat by the water which is one of their food sources. Bats eat flying insects. Even this, these bat houses are located at the nature trail dock, but do not bother the boxes because there are probably bats inside and we need to let them just rest. So like with all wildlife, don't bother it. Just watch and learn. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Like, and over there you can kind of see a great egret. Oh, I see them. Over there? Yeah. Just a beautiful marsh and little river area. Hi, Miss Julia. Hi, Miss Kelly. Where are you guys at today? Oh, that's right. The 4-H members have to help us figure out where you are.